now the climbers come out to play knee fisher black guy Realini through to the front roy Akers out of the saddle that uh, familiar style of Port Paulina Royakas just on the right. Valiera still in there. Garcia, Utrup Ludwig, La Boost. Trinka Colonel is there wearing 21. Longa Gorghini in the Malia Rosa just moves around on the outside. Katrina Alorud wearing the red and yellow of Uno X just trying to attach herself to the wheel of Elisa Longorghini, the Bradbury. So the two Canyon Shram riders, the first and second place riders in the best young riders classification, both still in here. Kim Lacourt in that national champs jersey for AG Insurance Sudal at Sylvestri on the far side for Laboral. Niedermeyer out of the saddle. She said in her post-race interview yesterday that they were starting to get into the stages that she was really looking forward to, but it's Gaia Realini that's got the pressure on the front here for Lidl Trek. Interesting to see her just look round there. I almost felt like she's just testing the legs of her rival. She's not putting an attack yet. She's just seeing, is the damage being done behind? How am I getting on at the moment? Still more in the tank, I would say, for Guy Rayleigh at this point, but doing some damage nonetheless. 3.1 kilometres to go. Swing around through this corner. This next hairpin, I found it was up a, getting sections through the hairpins of just over 10%, I was finding, through that the 3k to go point. There's a, a hairpin that sweeps around to the left where... Uh, kicks up just over 10 percent so we'll watch that group behind just to see um what they do because we're going to flatten off through the town before we kick back up towards the line the gap though comes down under a minute 57 seconds now under the pressure of canyon shrams antonia niedermeyer yeah, the best young rider here in the Giro d'Italia women is the rider on the front at the moment doing that damage, bringing it down to under a minute now to our two leaders. We're inside the final 3K, I'm just at the back of this peloton, just seeing Erskine Zieg up there in her national champion skip. But Nida Meyer still on the front here for Canyon Shram. Guy really be just behind her. Nifisha Black in third wheel, previous stage winner at this year's Giro, of course, as well. And this is becoming a really select group of climbers here now. Niedermeyer has got the pressure on and you can see just the grimaces of riders under the pressure as Lotta Kopecky launches a move now with 2.7 to go and straight on her is the Malia Rosa of Elisa Longo Borghini but Kopecky makes her bid for glory don't forget 10 6 and 4 seconds on the line and the first two in the general classification are starting to open up a small gap Capecchi glance back, but Longo Borghini attacks over the top now of Capecchi, looking to try and put her into difficulty if she can. Longo Borghini looking to try and use the tough part of the climb to get clear. Capecchi digging in and gritting her teeth as she powers back to the wheel of Elisa Longo Borghini and momentarily managed to distance the world champion. But we have got a big fight between the two. And Longo Borghini, look at the grimace on the face of Capecchi as they sweep up San Testaban. Yeah, we can see Capecchi really gritting her teeth there, but I was so impressed how she was gapped there by Longo Borghini. Gritted her teeth and got back onto the wheel. And now you can see that the effort has really paid off because the pace has now come off as Longo Borghini realizes she hasn't got that gap that she badly wants over Capecchi. 31 seconds is the gap from our leaders, San Testaban, still climbing. Well, just drops in behind the first two in the GC. Over the top of this section of the course now, we flatten out through the town before we kick up towards the line. 32 seconds. Will it be enough as the pressure goes out of that chasing group behind? It may be enough. You never know. It may hand it to the breakaway group. Roy Acker's attacks. Bradbury straight on her. Abby Garcia back in this group as well for Livalula Jaco, the previous Spanish national champion. Just a few riders back here, but big move here by Paulina Royakas, just really turning the screw on this last little kick up here. 35 seconds to our three remaining riders in our breakaway group just before the road really flattens out now. 
Garcia swings across the left. Guy Rellini moves up. So Mavi Garcia and a San Testaban on the front. Back up to our leaders. Ruth Edwards already a Giro stage winner in her career. Magnaldi it would be a mighty performance of the biggest ride of her career. Liana Lippert without a Giro stage win to a Tour de France stage win. 1.4 to go. It may be just enough now with that. You would have said if Longo Borghini had managed to get clear, it may have been the end of our breakaway, but they might have enough time. Niedermeyer comes through. Garcia moves across. Antonia Niedermeyer attacking out of the group. Elisa Longo Borghini knows that she can't let the young German get away. One kilometer to go we're through the flam rouge we're back up to the front and we start to climb yet again magnaldi lippert edwards on the back out of these you would say lippert and edwards fairly fairly close joe put in their sprint yeah and they've ridden really well here letting magnaldi do the work on the climb knowing she's such a strong climber they still have a gap over the peloton less than 30 seconds now but with the rose just flattening out here it is playing into their hands still holding on to that gap approaching the finish niedermeyer and bradbury still in there for canyon tram for the team of Lidl trek you've got longo borghini and realini Edwards on the back, Lippert in the middle, Magnaldi driving things at the front. The gap is down to 23 seconds. It narrows down here as we head up towards the finish, a very traditional Giro finish here in Chieti. But Magnaldi driving this one, it means you would say that this stage is going to go to Liana Lippert or Ruth Edwards unless Magnaldi can find something huge here in the sprint for the line. Drops back down through the group Lippert through to the front look at the face of Edwards Magnaldi on the outside Lippert gets the inside line here looks back to see where Ruth Edwards is 300 meters to go is it going to Morbistar is it going to human powered health or is it going to UAE but Magnaldi deciding to lead this one out here the sprint will start Lippert opens up the sprint but Ruth Edwards comes over the top has Magnaldi got anything left here Edwards shifts through the gears but Lippert has the front is going to come down to Lippert and Edwards Lippert takes it for Moby Star. The comeback is complete. The German rider takes it for Moby Star. The sprint from the group behind for Longo Borghini. The bonus seconds are gone. That's good for her. She is going to try and take the group sprint here. Neve Bradbury is closing on the wheel, but Longo Borghini showing the dominance in that Malia Rosa comes through to take the group sprint. That jersey is secure for another day but Liana Lippert back from injury takes the stage from Star.